Today we are learning Burden Stitch. This stitch has been around for ages. I'm not sure anyone knows exactly how long, but it got its name from Elizabeth Burden, a teacher at the Royal School of Needlework who started teaching this stitch again in the 1870s or so. Burden Stitch starts with evenly spaced rows of straight stitches across your entire shape. The straighter and more parallel these stitches are, the better it will look in the end, so you can measure and draw out a grid on your fabric before you start stitching if you want. I'm going to eyeball it on basically this entire sampler because that's just who I am. But there are tricks to making sure your lines are straight and evenly distanced from each other, like laying out the thread before you take it back through the fabric, or tilting the needle as you come up through the fabric to mimic where the thread will lay. Once you've got your ground threads on, you're going to be couching over them with perpendicular straight stitches, also lined up parallel to each other and spaced evenly. You are going to hear the words evenly spaced so many times on this sampler. Get ready. The length you make these stitches, how far apart or close together they are, that's totally up to you. You can also stitch across the rows like I'm doing here, or down the rows, adding all of the parallel couching stitches on one ground thread before jumping to the next. Really, the only stipulation here is that your stitches are offset from each other on each ground thread, so they create this sort of brick-like pattern. Now I've done these pretty far apart, so I'm going to go back in with a new color and add two more rows of couching stitches in those gaps. You can also cram burden stitch so close together that it becomes a solid fill, looking similar to long and short or brick stitch, but with the added texture of those veins running underneath. And there we have our first stitch of the laid work sampler, Burden Stitch. Don't forget to add an outline of your choosing if you'd like. I'm going to use Stim Stitch in black to outline this section. And we're done!